From this point on, uh, we will introduce the feature tools. We will also show several examples to see how the feature tools work. The first one we will start working with is called the extrude boss or base. This tool is used to add thickness or height to an existing 2D sketch. So basically any solid that we are planning on creating, uh, we can use this tool to do so. Okay. So let's start with the planes. Okay, so we have the front plane, top plane and the right plane. So let's start with the front plane. Okay. Uh, for the simplicity, let's start with a corner rectangle and we'll be using this to show you how the feature tool works. So once you have a sketch, you can now add thickness or height to make it a solid object. To do so, on the top left, go to the feature tab here and then select this option called extrude boss or base. Okay, SolidWork has automatically selected the sketch and created the thickness that you want. Okay, on the left side, you will see the property manager and it will give you a number of options. Okay, so first of all, let's look into this one. This is called the direction button. Okay, so by clicking it, you will define in which direction the solid should add its thickness or height. Right now, it is on the Z direction, the positive Z. So if you click it again, you will you can make it a negative Z, okay? Here, you will have a number of options, okay? So um, not all of the options can be shown right away, but for the moment, uh, what you can do is, we can look into this mid plane option. So mid plane option is basically, um, you don't select in which direction it is uh, ha adding the uh, thickness or width. Uh, it will increase on the both sides. So if you select mid, as you can see, it has divided into two pieces. Below this, you will have the thickness. You can define what thickness you want to add. Let's say if you want to add a 50 millimeter thickness, you can just add it like that. Here on the corner, you have something called draft. Draft is basically adding uh, a, a certain angle, okay, a draft angle basically. So it will, um, if you extend it too far, uh, it will look something similar to a pyramid. Uh, so let's select this and you will see it has added a small draft from in considering the base of the sketch. So let's say if the draft is around 30 degrees, this is how it will look like. Okay, so you're adding a draft. So sometimes you might need to do so. Okay, so another option here is called a direction tool. So let's say you're working on a sketch where you have the same uh, sketch in the design where one of the part have draft, another part you want to extend uh, without adding any draft, right? So you can select this draft tool. Okay, sorry, direction tool select the blind maybe turning off the draft itself here and add how much thickness you want to add there okay once that's done click ok and you will see your solid object we can also make this uh, thin design okay uh, so to, before doing that let's delete this extruded boss that we created okay so select the on the left property manager, right click on it and click delete. So it will ask you what you wanna do. You wanna delete the feature or everything, just select whatever you wanna delete, click yes. So now we have the original sketch back, okay? So let's go to the feature and select the extrude boss and base and select the sketch. So it will create, show you something similar to this, which it, what we were already working with, right? So let's say you wanna work with a thin feature, okay? So make this whole design something thinner. So go here, go into this thin feature, select it, okay? And select what the, what is the thickness you want, okay? Uh, let's say you uh, wanna make something with a thin plate, which is of, let's say, five millimeters, okay? So you will see how this design looks like, okay? 
you can also cap the ends by capping the end it means that um, let's say you have these two portions open right the bottom face and the top face you can cover it with a cover of the same thickness okay if you want you can change the thickness also like right now it has a two millimeter thickness you can make it a five millimeter thickness okay click ok and it will create a thick feature for you okay now um, how do you know how do you know that it has created a thin feature one way of doing so is looking into the section view of it okay to do that you can go into the top menu here and select this one which is called section view if you select this it will show you an option something similar to this um, you can pull this one up or down to see any portion in the section of that object you can use this to rotate in any view you like so let's say you want to look into how it will look like okay once you've done the section that you're interested in click ok and you will see how it looks like it doesn't mean that the object has cut on the right side and it, it's remaining on the left side the whole object is there it's just we're looking into the section view once you've done inspecting select the section view again and it will show you the whole object 